Welcome to RC Tech. This is Ritesh Srinivasan. Once a while there are exciting developments which happen in the field of AI. One such development is DAL-E which is about creating images from text. Basically OpenAI has actually trained a neural network called DAL-E that creates images from text captions for a wide range of concepts expressible in natural language. So this is a very exciting development when I checked out this blog. So in this video, let us see what kind of images can be generated from what kind of text. If you are new here and if you like such content, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So what is uh, DALI? DALI is a 12 billion parameter version of GPT-3 and it is trained to generate images from text descriptions. It uses a data set of text image pairs. So uh, they found out that it is diverse. It has a diverse set of capabilities, including uh, creating, uh, you know, different versions of animals and objects, combining unrelated concepts in plausible ways. It can render text on images. It can also apply transformation to existing images. It's quite, uh, you know, exciting, right? For example, you have a illustration of a baby daikon radish in a tutu walking a dog. So this is what is the text which has been, uh, you know, entered and this is the AI, uh, AI generated image. Another uh, interesting example of an abstract object over here is that uh, text prompt is an armchair in the shape of an avocado. So here is your AI generated image. So these chair looks like, uh, you know, an avocado. And if chairs come out like this, I would definitely buy one of them. It looks uh, really different and kind of fresh, right? And the colors are really amazing over here. Now, uh, the another example of, you know, text generation on an image is this, a store front that has the word open AI written on it. Okay. So here are images of a store front where they have, uh, you know, open AI term is written on the store front. Okay. And an example of an image transformation is this, right? Uh, see the exact same cat on top as a sketch on the bottom. So you have this cat, it has been converted to a sketch on the bottom, right? Uh, then you can also do different things like, you know, creating abstract objects like this. For example, a pentagonal green clock, a green clock in the shape of a pentagon. See, you have a green clock which has been generated. A cube made of porcupine, you cannot even imagine that, okay? Basically a cube with the texture of porcupine, right? A collection of glasses sitting on a table. Okay. It can also draw multiple objects simultaneously. For example, a small red block sitting on a large green block. Okay. A stack of three cubes, a red cube is on the top, right? Uh, uh, sitting on a green cube. The green cube is in the middle sitting on a blue cube. So you have a blue cube, a green cube and a red cube. So it is actually following this order of objects as well, right? An emoji of a baby penguin wearing a blue hat, red gloves, green t-shirt, and yellow pants. Okay. These are some of their, uh, you know, images which have been generated from these prompts. So we can also experiment with them, which I'll be showing in a little while. Okay. It can also, you know, uh, do 3d style rendering, for example, an extreme close up a view of a, a capybara sitting in a field, right? Uh, a capybara made of voxel sitting in a field. So this is an artificially generated image, right? Um, a lot of things like this can be actually uh, done over here. For example, visualizing internal and external structure, a cross section view of a walnut. Okay. Uh, let us experiment with some of uh, these things. Okay. For example, it can also infer contextual details. Uh, this is quite interesting. So let me open this. Okay. Uh, so let us try out some things over here. So instead of a capybara, I'll say a fox. And uh, instead of a field, I'll say sitting on a mountain and instead of sunrise, I will say at night. See, you have these wonderful images which have been generated, right? So this is like a painting, right? A painting of the fox. Okay. Uh, so this is quite interesting that it is able to change based on the context. It is able to generate a different image. For example, if I now say at sunset, you have this nice, wonderful image over here, right? And if I were to say in the morning, so this is actually very, uh, I'm quite amazed by 
the advancement done over here okay now even this is very nice for example you know a stained glass window with an image of a blue strawberry so you have these abstract uh, stained glass windows with blue strawberries some of the results are wrong over here but then still it is doing a wonderful job for example if i want to change to broccoli see you have these broccoli shaped uh, things which is being rendered over here it could be a stained glass window so maybe we will go for latte art you see this image it's actually a latte art right so these are artificially generated images these are not natural images and it does it in a very nice way to put it you know it nice it does it very nicely i'm quite amazed by this uh, thing this is about the storefront for example a storefront that has the word instead of open ai let me put maybe clip see you have storefronts where this text has been generated and you will see that sometimes maybe there are errors over here also okay but it is done quite nicely so it can actually generate abstract things like this right it can generate a painting or say stained glass window or objects okay so it uh, does a lot of things uh, very nicely maybe we can experiment with this also cross section view of the walnut instead of walnut let's see what is there maybe an airplane yeah it gives some kind of images inside the airplane but not exactly or what if i give it as a brain probably it should because yeah you have lots of images okay so this is about the internal structure of uh, this thing uh, for example this is about a macro photograph of a brain coral a coral which looks like brain maybe i will change it to butterfly wing so it kind of generates a macro image of the butterfly wing so this is quite uh, what do you call uh, amazing and uh, you know it is done nicely over here okay and uh, with these kind of images actually for you when if you are in need of some image now you can just use this algorithm to generate images as per your imagination right so i can imagine something and then uh, it can get generated over here okay now what I have shown our images uh, basically if given a caption right it generates these images right now uh, what they have done is that uh, gpt3 can be performed to uh, can be instructed to perform many kinds of task from a description and a queue to generate the answer supplied in its prompt right so that was gpt3 for text so for example here is the sentence is the prompt and then you have a phrase in english right and you say uh, this needs to be translated into french it does it right similarly they have extended the capacity over here uh, uh, this capability is called as uh, basically zero shot reasoning right so in dali also they have extended this capability to the visual domain gpt3 was on the text domain so this is on the visual domain in the visual domain they could do you know image to image translation task when prompted in the right way for example this uh, you know uh, two panel image of the exact same cat on the top a photo of the cat on the bottom the cat with sunglasses so uh, let me select this cat okay so you see over here this is the original image this is the image which has been generated on the bottom right exact same cat with sunglasses so it can do these kind of image translation or image uh, generation uh, what you call uh, tasks okay another example over here is like uh, uh, the tea, uh, teapot with a gpt written on it maybe i'll change it to something else a teapot with uh, colored pink let's see what it is two panel images of the exact same tea spot uh, uh, tea uh, pot on the top a photo of the teapot on the bottom the teapot colored pink let's take this teapot and let's see what happens so you have this pink teapot which has been colored in the bottom right so uh, this is some kind of an excellent work for image generation and dali is also learned about geographic facts for example uh, landmarks and the uh, neighborhoods okay uh, it is surprisingly precise in some ways and flawed in others this uh, this thing for example let's go to this photo of food of india right what if i change to china where is china china should be here yeah so you have these dim sums and the momos and stuff like that so it is able to learn this uh, geographical knowledge right 
and you have this uh, landmarks also over here for example a photo of san francisco's golden gate bridge and these are some uh, visualizations of the sky so for example let me make blue sky over here so you see this blue sky uh, image which has been generated and if i were to make it to this uh, night sky because i see a moon over there may not be night but twilight or something or is it a bird i am not able to uh, know if it is a bird or it is a it is whether the moon or something like that okay so it also has temporal knowledge for example a photo of phone from the it just you know generates again you can have different background over here see it different it generates this different background over here instead of phone let me give television yeah so all these varieties of television across you know uh, the, the uh, what you call the different timelines what if i give a magazine cover yeah so you see uh, you know magazine covers across years so it also has temporal knowledge right so this is actually quite uh, interesting and it can also do things like uh, you know uh, i found this very interesting you know uh, if you are a designer and or an architect and you want to look visualize like how will i design this room how will this room look like okay for example a living room with two white armchairs and a painting of the colosseum right uh, the painting is mounted above a modern fireplace so you see this image you see these images uh, you know these are so real to the description right so maybe the image prompt is this white uh, background over here so maybe i will change it to instead of two white uh, armchairs i'll put it as to black and instead of the colosseum i will put a cactus and instead of a modern fireplace i will put a coffee table let's see what happens so you have actually black armchairs yes you have a painting of the cactus yeah some paintings over here and you also have a coffee table over here right in some of the images so it's actually able to you know draw these things or generate images so this is quite nice uh, feature for example again this one where uh, you know there is a female mannequin dressed in a black instead of black i'll go for white instead of leather jacket i'll go for maybe turtleneck sweater yeah and a gold pleated skirt so it is amazingly generated this uh, set of images right so this is quite a uh, interesting work and it can also combine unrelated concepts for example a snail made of harp a snail with the texture of harp so you see these images maybe we can play around this with this maybe an elephant you know these are abstract concepts unrelated abstract concepts right and it is able to still generate some images right uh, so you know it can do animal illustrations for example let us go for this of a cat turtle uh, chimera camera is a hybrid uh, this thing so cat imitating a turtle a cat made of turtle so then you get images like this so these are actually really uh, you know uh, very imaginative and very nicely done right so with this dali actually now you can generate you know variety of images so this is very exciting development uh, so what does uh, dali make use of it is also a trans, uh, like it is a transformer language model but it receives both the text and image as a single stream of data containing up to 120 uh, basically uh, you know 1280 tokens and then it is trained using maximum likelihood to generate all of the tokens one after the other okay so this procedure allows dali to not only generate an image from scratch but also regenerate any rectangular region of an existing image that extends to the bottom right corner in a way that is consistent with the text prompt so you can actually in your text prompt you can have three different parts based on that parts you can actually have rectangular corners separately generated right so open ai has released this paper explaining uh, dali okay how the model was uh, trained and how it performs this uh, you know zero shot text to image uh, generation they have also released the decoder part of the code over here um, so maybe i will try this code if possible and let me see what kind of images can be uh, 
uh, generated using this particular uh, model. In this video, I have introduced to you what is DALI and what are its capabilities in terms of generating images from text captions. If you like the video, please press the like button. If you dislike the video, please provide me feedback or on what needs to be improved. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, see you in another exciting video. Bye for now.